Hello everyone and welcome back to another Babbling Irons video and today we've got even more news and this time is around who's going to replace Declan Rice if slash when he's going to leave in the summer. So let's get into who it is and why I think it's not the best replacement of all of them. So of course it is a player that we have been linked with for a long, long, long time now, James Ward Prowse. Now a lot of people have mixed opinions on this, whether it would be a good signing, whether he's even considered to be a Declan Rice replacement. So we're going to get into it. We're going to get into the stats and kind of decide for ourselves whether it would be a good replacement or not for the probable departing Declan Rice. Now, the original story has come from the Mail Online and we saw this on Twitter. Obviously, West Ham Central uh, tweeting this out earlier today, saying that we are ready um, to bid for James Ward-Prowse as Moyes is now plotting a new midfield once Declan Rice leaves this summer. And obviously Moyes knows himself that it's going to take more than one new midfield signing to replace our outgoing club captain Declan Rice. Now, what you will say it as the positives with around James Ward-Prowse, obviously everyone knows how good he is at set pieces. Everyone knows how much we thrive off set pieces when it's clicking for David Moyes. And that aspect of it works. Um, again, it's not really a correlation with Rice, so you can't really compare the two at the moment. But Another key factor is that James Will Prowse is naturally a leader. We're going to be losing our captain. Bringing someone in that is a leader and has that experience in the Premier League could be pretty important. Um, again, not something I necessarily agree with, but it's, it is a case for an argument. And looking at the flip side, if we want to develop and as a club, I mean, you look at our, our squad at the moment, it is the oldest in the league. I, I mean, our average age each game is above like 29 years old, which is crazy. Uh, James Will Prowse obviously is 28. He's going to be 29 at some point this year. So next year he'll be 30. Is that really the recruitment model we want to go down? Is that really what fans want to see? Personally, I don't. Um, obviously, we we know Will Prowse does have quality and he is good from the, those kind of set pieces and obviously very technically sound player. But will he impact the midfield and especially as a replacement for Declan Rice? I'm not so sure. So if you actually break down the stats between the two, it kind of paints a picture as to why I believe this is just the complete incorrect replacement if we're trying to bring in the defensive midfielders to replace what Rice can do. It's going to be a tough task, but there are players out there that are suited for that position. And if we look at this here, this is kind of looking at the percentile uh, among the kind of top midfielders in the European leagues uh, this season. And, you know, it's comparing Declan Rice and James Ward-Prowse. So you can kind of see the percentile that they sit in. I mean, you look at the top one, Jules one, obviously Rice is in that very, very top percentile with 98%. Will Prowse slightly below that um, with 65 So again, immediately you're kind of seeing the difference in that dual winner capability. You know, we want a midfielder that's going to be winning those duels and breaking up plays. exactly what Declan Rice is so fantastic at. And it's exactly what brought him into his West Ham career. It was that kind of industrious side and he then developed into that midfielder that he is today. So already you can kind of see the difference. Ward Prowse isn't that type of player at all. Then you look at the success, successful defensive actions per 90. Again, Rice's is pretty high uh, in comparison to most in the in the top European leagues. Ward Prowse is really low. You know, 43% is, is under average um, if you're looking at the 50% mark. So it doesn't really look that great from a defensive point of view, what he will bring in compared to Rice. Um, I think that's pretty clear as well already. And then you look at kind of what Rice has started to elevate his game with and what he can provide us it is that progression. And you look at those progressive runs, again, Rice is, is very high percentile for that, especially for a defensive midfielder, considering this is comparing all types of midfielders, so not just defensive. And then you look at Will Prowse, 12%. Now, we know that's not Will Prowse's game. He is not someone that's going to carry the ball forward, take players on like Rice will, like Rice wants to do. So are they really a comp comparison there? No, that, that's, that's maybe a little bit less interesting to me because we know Will Prowse, someone likes to sit in, pass the ball, move it around quicker, ping those balls left and right. So it's not really part of his game. So it's fair enough that he's in that low percentile. So you then look at the forward passes per 90 and the forward pass accuracy. This one kind of surprised me. I mean, a lot of criticism around Declan Rice, around what he does uh, with the ball, whether he passes it backwards and sideways. Well, actually, no. This clearly, You can clearly see that he is in a very high percentile for forward passes per 90, um, higher than actually Ward Prowse. And obviously, forward pass actually 97% versus Ward Prowse's 69%. So you can already see 
people who are kind of lauding this war price signing as a good one, um, it's fair enough. He is he would be a decent squad signing, but to replace Rice and what he's going to bring, absolutely no. I mean, you look at that for the for the progressive passes and the, the forward passes per ninety. Rice is above Ward Prowse. I mean, for for the type of players that they are and the positions that they play, you would expect someone like Ward Prowse to be higher than than Declan Rice. And you know, for Rice's percentile to be ninety seven percent for for pass accuracy, it's crazy. Now these stats again can be misleading, but because you look at underneath that kind of the key passes per ninety. That's where Rice drops down, and that's where Ward Prowse does have the advantage. Um, but you kind of have to take in the fact around set pieces. Rice has only recently started taking corners; that would count as a key pass. Um, it really is Ward Prowse's to, to kind of take that one. Um, obviously, something that Rice probably needs to improve on is those key passes from those deeper positions, um, because he is very good at you know progressing with the ball, carrying the ball, breaking up players. We already mentioned with the with the defensive side, but one thing that he could do to elevate his game is make those more penetrative penetrative passes and, and those key passes. And it's difficult to do that as a defensive midfielder. I mean, it shouldn't be, the burden shouldn't be on you. And it should, you know, when you look at the West Ham team, that's someone like Paqueta's role, you know, if he is playing as an eight. And I mean, someone alongside Paqueta, if it isn't Suchek, it should be their role. So when I look at this signing as Walt Prowse, it shouldn't be looked at as a Declan Rice replacement. It should actually be looked at as someone like a Thomas Suchek replacement because they're not really comparatively the same at all. I mean, the final stat on here was was around progressive passes per 90. And again, Rice is higher than Ward Prowse just because of that natural progression that Rice brings. So, yeah, I mean, overall, Rice is just such a different player to Ward Prowse. That's the point I want to make here. It's not, you know, it's clear that Rice is a much better player, but in terms of the actual comparison of how they play, nowhere near the same. And, and Ward Prowse is just not good enough defensively to be our Oh, number six. So that's not the position he will play. He, he needs to be an eight. Now, if we were going to bring in Ward Prowse to be an eight alongside, say, Paqueta and bring in a very good defensive midfielder, sure, that's an improvement on Suchek. But what you'll see with Suchek is his defensive contributions are actually really, really high. So we would lose that aspect and it maybe leaves us a little bit more vulnerable, um, especially if we're going to play under David Moyes again next season. So, yeah, it's a, it's a strange one. It's a strange link to compare... Ward Prowse coming in as a replacement for Rice. I think it should be that Ward Prowse is being looked at to bolster our midfield with the Rice money leaving. It shouldn't be like a comparison that, that these media outlets are suggesting. What do you guys think? Because to me, if we want to grow, like I mentioned, it needs to be developing a younger players through our academy and you know recruiting a lot of younger talent but, talent, but B, it has to be that quality. It has to be that next level quality because hopefully we will have European football next season and there could be a lot of change this summer. There's there's a lot of stuff going on around, you know, directors of football, recruitment, um, even the managerial position. So, <sighs> Will Prowse, although a good, solid signing, that's how I would label it, it would be solid. He's 28 years old, you know, soon to be 29. It's not the, it's not the sort of signing we need to be looking at. You know, when you look at Southampton, they have a, a, a much better a natural six right in their team right now. In Lavia, and that's the exact player we should be looking at, not War Prowse, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that War Prowse would be a good replacement according to these stats and how they play? I don't think so at all. It's going to be very difficult to replace what Rice can do and what he brings to West Ham, but there are definitely options out there for that, you know, number six role that could definitely um, reduce the pain of Rice leaving because there is some quality talent across Europe. We just have to go and scout it and find it properly, and you know. We will move on from Rice. That that's the key point, but it has to be done properly, and it can't be looking at players like Ward Prowse as that replacement. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel as always, and until next time, come on, you irons.